Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs. Um, today I'm going to begin a six part achievement series, I guess you could call it, um, for Loremaster. Um, we'll do both Horde and Alliance, and uh, so we're going to uh, start with Eastern Kingdoms this week. Um, and basically, all I'm going to mention for these is that by getting these, you'll get the Seeker title, you'll probably get um, the Ring of Blood stuff, you'll get the Nezingwari quests. Um, You'll get like at least justly rewarded. You can get the breadwinner as well, um, and you can probably get very close to getting some other achievement. So um, it's pretty simple, uh, very time-consuming, but it's not. It's definitely for the older ones. It's not very hard. Uh, so we'll start with Eastern Kingdoms, um, and some of these we're gonna are gonna have horde equivalents. So I'll kind of just go through the list, and then I'll go to the map and show you for any uh, kind of problem areas and kind of where to go for quests. Um, so Rathi Highlands, you need to do 18 quests. Badlands, you need to do 35. Blasted Lands, you need to do 35. Burning Steps, you need to do 40. Cape of Stranglethorn, you need to do 60. Eastern Plague Lands, you need to do 70. Hinterlands, you need to do 30. Uh, Alliance, Lochmodon, and Wetlands, you need to do 85. Horde, you'll have Ghostlands, you need to do 50. Now Horde, you're going to have it a little bit easier than Alliance and Eastern Kingdoms. Um, for Kalimdor, it's definitely going to be a lot more uh, horde heavy, um, but mainly because you kind of get the alliance have a lot of areas where they can quest, like Lochmodon and Wetlands, Westfall and Duskwood. Like there's a lot more options for different um, levels. Horde, you're kind of pigeonholed if you level in Eastern Kingdoms. Uh, Northern Stranglethorn is 50. Red Ridge Mountains uh, for Alliance is 40. Horde, your equivalent is Hillsbrad, and that is 50. Searing Gorge is 35, Swamp of Sorrows 25, Western Playlands 45, uh, Alliance Westfall and Duskwood 80, and Horde Years of Silver Pine Forest for 55. So again, the, the numbers are kind of heavier in the Alliance side, but when we go to Kalimdor, I'm pretty sure it switches. Um, and now to kind of show you, um, so you will not get credit for starting areas. So you won't get credit for Eversong, you won't get credit for Tirasfell Alliance, you won't get credit for uh, Dunborough or Elwyn Forest. Uh, so Ghostlands, when you start, you're going to make your way down here. There's a couple quests in this area, and then you're going to basically stay in Tranquillin, and you're going to end up all over the damn place. Now, if you're doing this after the fact, like once you've already hit uh, your level cap, remember you cannot fly in leveling Burning Crusade areas, and that applies to both uh, Eversong Woods and Ghostlands. Um, I would recommend to do some questing. If you're going for reputation, do some, go to Sunstrider Isle and do some of the starting quests. Um, if you're trying to get Silver Moon City rep, um, I, we kind of talked about this in my Ambassadors of the Court Slash Alliance achievement, but it's a pretty good way and you'll get more money and you can get achievements. You'll get closer to getting the secret title, which is to do 3,000 quests. Uh, so yeah, you'll end up in Tranquillant and you're going to get sent all over the damn place. And then eventually you'll... Um, go to, I'm trying to remember now, Ghost Lands takes you to 20. You won't go straight into Eastern Plague Lands. You're going to end up in either Wetlands, I think. No, you don't, oh, you don't get things for Wetlands. That's silly. But yeah, you'll end up like in Arathi or you'll end up going um, over to, Ka most Horde, you're going to end up going in Kalimdor. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, so Ghost Lands. Down here we have Eastern Plague Lands. And you're going to start right around here and this is where you're gonna pick up Fiona's caravan and do I recommend doing all of the quests and even if you hit the is it 70 yeah 70 quests um, needed I really recommend um, doing all the caravan there's an achievement to get all eight and you're gonna just basically you're gonna follow the caravan and you're gonna work your way all throughout this area and you're just gonna keep going I think you finally hit the cap when you hit um, East Wall Tower um, but like I said I really recommend, don't do the, any extra quests, just follow the caravan quest and work your way towards the end, and you'll get that, uh, the full caravan achievement. Uh, Western Plague Lands, you're gonna start in the Bulwark, or Ander, actually I think your best place to do would be either Chilliwin Camp or Ander Hall, and then just kinda get sent all over the damn place. Hearthglen has some pretty cool quests too. Um, basically just turn on low level quests on your mini map here. 
just click on this and go to low level quests and just fly around and look for hubs basically is the best thing that I can tell you to do. Uh, Silver Pine. Silver Pine I have only leveled in once and you're gonna start again um, maybe start in Death Nail and get all of this stuff going work your way through Tears Fall and then you're gonna end up down here I only need to 255 and you're gonna start up here and you just really work your way down a lot of the starting um, especially Horde ones I find are very very linear and they're pretty easy to do um, next one we'll do is Hillsbrad and Hillsbrad you're gonna start I remember now Hillsbrad you are going to start um, for Horde you're gonna start at the South Point gate and you'll work your way through here and then eventually get to Terran Mill and you'll just kind of run all over the damn place um, this again this is um, Horde only now uh, Hinterlands uh, you're gonna start at Airy Peak and you'll kind of work your way around um, the hubs usually are where their flight points Rathy Highlands. This one's really easy. Just get yourself to Refuge Point and go from there. Uh, wetlands is not on this. I don't know why, so we're not going to talk about it. Uh, Cataclysm. Lockmodon. Oh, that's why it's Lockmodon and Wetlands. So, Wetlands, you're going to start. Uh, you're going to come out of. Yeah, you're going to come out right in here from Lockmodon. And you're going to end up here, and you can just kind of work your way through. And then Lockmodon, you're going to start from Valley of the Kings, from Ironford, uh, from Dunmorough, and you'll end up in Thalsamar, and you'll just quest until you get to Fresh Dry Lounge. Uh, Dunmorough is out. Lockmodon, we did. Badlands. Badlands, you're going to start. Hmm. Ah, I think you can start somewhere in here, and you just just. Again, go to the city, go to the flight points and just find the hubs and kind of go from there and be careful of flying around. That's the, that's how I did it when I went, because I didn't keep, um, I really didn't keep track of where I was going. Um, just so just, yeah, fly to wherever the flight points are. So here's Iron Summit. Um, I think Thorium Advance is a Horde one and then Thorium Point is the Alliance one. And just, yeah, start at the hubs and grab all the quests that you can. Um, burning Steps. Same deal. Make sure I think I'm just gonna try and figure out if there are any harder ones. Uh, Red Ridge, you're actually gonna come out either. You're gonna start at three corners. You're actually gonna get some quests right about here. Yeah. So just go to the map and try and figure out where the paths come in from. I guess. Uh, same deal. Stranglethorn is a little bit more complicated because you've got, um, the, now it's split and you've got Northern and you've got the Cape. Uh, and then when you do Northern, you're going to start the Nezumari stuff, so you're just going to kind of work your way down. Um, if you're doing a whole zone and you want to kind of lead into the next one, because sometimes the quest will start, the, start in a zone and then they'll end up in another zone and they'll, cre they'll give you credit in the second one. So breadcrumb quests are a great way to open up more quests for yourself, so if you find that you're like a couple quests short, fly around if you can't find any go back to the previous zone and it's usually adjacent or just look for zones that are um in the level cap so you can see when you're in it when you mouse over see twilight highlands says 84 to 85 up there by the name which is going to be right up here um every song one says one to ten so if you're in let's say burning steps and it's 49 to 52 and you kind of go hmm where would i go before that and it would be searing gorge so just grab any look for breadcrumb quests even if you finish searing gorge to kind of Lead yourself into burning stuff. Um, so that's pretty much all that I have to say in this one. Um, Eastern Kingdoms was not very hard for me to get. Um, there's a couple of zones in Kalimdor I remembered that were a little bit more difficult. And again, when, next Friday when I do that one, we'll talk about it. But um, Eastern Kingdoms was very, very simple for me. Again, I did it on Alliance. So that might be why, but I did Kalimdor on Alliance as well. I didn't have any issues. Uh, so hope that was helpful. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.